to leave it with you. I will read it later. As you say, my lord, only Clydes don't look his proper self. He's more white than pink, if you get my meaning, and he's shaking. Dark wings, dark words, muttered Torman. Isn't that what your kneelers say? We say, a bleed a cold, but feast a fever too, John told him. We say, never drink with Dornishman when the moon is full. We say a lot of things. Molly added his two groats. My old grandmother always used to say, summer friends will melt away like summer snows, but winter friends are friends forever. I think that's sufficient wisdom for the moment, said John Snow. Show Clytus in, if you'll be so good. Molly had not been wrong. The old Stuart was friendly, his face as pale as the snows outside. I am being foolish, Lord Commander, but this letter frightens me, as you see here. Bastard was the only word written outside the scroll. No Lord Snow or John Snow or Lord Commander, simply Bastard. And the letter was sealed with a smear of hard pink wax. You were right to come at once, John said. You were right to be afraid. He cracked the seal, flattened the parchment, read. Your false king is dead, bastard. He and all his host were smashed in seven days of battle. I have his magic sword. Tell his red whore. Your false king's friends are dead. Their heads upon the walls of Winterfell. Come see them, bastard. Your false king lied, and so did you. You told the world you burned the king beyond the wall. Instead, you sent him to Winterfell to steal my bride from me. I will have my bride back. If you want Mance Raider back, come and get him. I have him in a cage for all the North to see, proof of your lies. The cage is cold, but I have made him a warm cloak for the skins of the six whores who came with him to Winterfell. I want my bride back. I want the false king's queen. I want his daughter and his red witch. I want his wilding princess. I want his little prince, the wilding babe. And I want my reek. Send them to me, bastard, and I will not trouble you or your black crows. Keep them from me, and I will cut out your bastard's heart and eat it. It was signed Ramsay Bolton, true-born Lord of Winterfell. Snow, said Tormund Giant's man. You look like your father's bloody head just rolled out of that paper. Jon Snow did not answer at once. Molly helped Clydus back to his chambers. The night is dark and the paths will be slippery with snow. Sat and go with them. He handed Tormund Giant's man the letter. Here, see for yourself. The wilding gave the letter a dubious look and handed it right back. Feels nasty, but Tormund Thunderfist had better things to do than learn to make papers talk at him. They never have any good to say, now do they? Not often, Jon Snow admitted. Dark wings, dark words. Perhaps there was more truth to those wise old sayings than he'd known. It was sent by Ramsay Snow. I'll read you what he wrote. When he was done, Tormund whistled. Ha! Ah, that's bogged, and no mistake. What was that about Mance? Has him in a cage, does he? How, when hundreds saw your red witch burn the man? That was Rattleshirt, John almost said. That was sorcery, a glamour, she called it. Melisandre. Look to the skies, she said. He set the letter down. A raven in a storm. She saw this coming. When you have your answers, send to me. Might be all a skin of lies, Tormund scratched under his beard. If I had a nice goose quill and a pot of maester's ink, I could write down that my member was long and thick as me arm. Wouldn't make it so. He has light bringer. He talks of heads upon the walls of Winterfell. He knows about the Spearwives and their number. He knows about Mance Raider. No, there's truth in there. I won't say you're wrong. What do you mean to do, Crow? John flexed the fingers of his sword hand. 
the Night's Watch takes no part. He closed his fist and opened it again. What you propose is nothing less than treason. He thought of Rob, the snowflakes melting in his hair. Kill the boy and let the man be born. He thought of Bran, clambering up a tar wall, agile as a monkey. Of Rickon's breathless laughter. Of Sansa brushing out Lady's coat and singing to herself. You know nothing, Jon Snow. He thought of Arya, her hair as tangled as a bird's nest. I made him a warm cloak from the skins of the six whores who came with him to Winterfell. I want my bride back. I want my bride back. I want my bride back. I think we had best change the plan, Jon Snow said. <laughs>